Walker. He might be able to level up with triple ion shell. He might actually get a first blood. Oh my god, 7 HP on the Ursa. Flea is a madman right now. I don't think he's surviving this, though. This is going to be really tight. He is doing an absurd amount of damage. Almost gets into fog to use the healing salve. He does die, but... Really impressive pressure, honestly, in a 1v3 scenario. That uh, that shield's doing some work. I think that was mind games, honestly. I think Urso was like, is this is this happening right now? And Lion held onto that Earth Spike for so long just because he wasn't quite sure what the Darkseer was doing. In the end, it doesn't work out, but that was so close to like a double kill just with level 1 Ion Shells. Yeah. If he had gotten first blood there, that would have been an unbelievable... Bounty Hunter that's putting pressure on other lanes here. They're like, Bounty Hunter, please just stay and help us with this Darkseer. He's actually... <laughs> Really hard to deal oh, with. Top. Uh oh. The sword initiated on. Open wounds. Is this actually going to be the first blood? It sure looks I like it. Nope. Uh, looks like Lion actually picked it up down. Oh no, the Dark we Seer just, just died. I'm such an that. asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did it's I okay, not think it was first blood? Oh. Now, Flea gets an Earth Spike. He's going back in. There's no Janata. Only level one of the Bounty Hunter. Can they have enough damage to get this done? Wow. One swipe from the Ursa does it. But he's super low now. Gotta make sure those creeps don't aggro him. This he's down crazy. to three tangos. Look at the build from the Dark Seer, though. He went one, two, zero. A lot of annoying things you can do with this position for Kunkka. You know, we've seen like the Kunkka Tinker, where you just keep bringing him back oh. to the well. We'll hold that thought, though, as Ched initiates on the Death Prophet. But Soul Siphon's there. They've got some return damage. It's a two on three, but honestly, it looks like the Dyer could be the ones to take it. Torrent comes out onto the Bounty Hunter. He'll be the first to die. Courier just hanging out. Cask now bouncing back and forth. Ched survives a bit longer, does find the kill on the DP, but ends up dying first. It's a double kill for the Witch Doctor. Juan now three, zero, and one. Throwing Radiant coconuts left and right, he is definitely attack. feeling good. Meanwhile, Ursa was killed off to ion shell damage down bottom, so this Darkseer finally wow. getting some fruits for his efforts. Flea is probably the most so crucial, and Ursa's only level 4. Yeah, uh, this has been a super effective Darkseer so far. I mean, Ursa dying there, definitely helpful. Mid lane, oh, uh oh, here we go. Initiation onto Chet, he's only level 5. They hit him with a Torrent X. Do they actually have the damage to finish him off, though? They sure do with the Crypt Swarm. Nice setup there, and the power of Kunkka being shown to us. Queen of Pain dying twice now before hitting level six. Net worth, and he's their position three. I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't want to be. <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't think he's having a stellar performance, but I think <laughs> Slardar, he's got a bit of a comeback mechanic. He's now hopped into the jungle. He picks up that Iron Talon. He's gonna get some farm if he can pick up a blink. Ursa got pooped on again that's a full wall though that's okay i mean i think dark <laughs> dark seer is happy to use a wall to get a kill at six minutes i think that's it well, at least she's six that's the first step i can't believe flea still doesn't have surge though Th that is by f this is the most ballsy dark seer build i've ever seen <laughs> what's he doing like look at this guy he doesn't even have surge He's just AFK in the lane. Okay, well, that wasn't his most flattering moment, I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> but he has been dominating this lane really hard. Mid, are they going to find be... setup on Chad? Radiant's no, it's down bottom. That's where the fight the phase boots. So pretty standard kit there. The big rotation's down bottom. Three heroes smoked up from Evernova. Going to rotate into the jungle, bump right into the lion. He's level six. He's got a finger, but can he drop it? Doesn't look like it. Coconut bouncing all over the place. The wall pulling him back and forth. Lion gets obliterated. Queen of Pain comes in, destroys the Kunkka, one for one. And it looks like that's where the action will stop. Evernova just back out to their side of the lane. A couple of quick picks, both supports down. And that'll be it. Pretty even trade. Yeah, that's... just This is just such a bloody game. We do have Slardar getting very, very low in the mid lane as Let Me Go offers some harass. And she... Again, no wrap track around. And, oh, oh God, no! Shed so much. He gets yuked. He gets an... Inv oh, my God, are you kidding? <laughs> An invis or a haste would have saved him there, so uh, he does fish his wish. Now Finger gets dropped on Juan. He does survive through it. DP comes in. Slicks, they turn it the other way. Juan might still survive. Bounty Hunter trying to finish him off, but his damage, it's its just nothing. He's got dull blades. Two for nil. Evernova walk their way into a couple of kills after a lucky invis rune pickup on the DP. That was... Well, the Dota gods are definitely in favor of Evernova, Annie. That's that's for sure after seeing that. That's brutal. Yeah, and they're going to convert this straight into a tier 1 tower. Like, not even bothering with the fortify. Oh, God. Mana has the mana drain at the ready, but... At least he's got a TP scroll this time. He, before he was making these plays without the TP, he might just find a free kill, though. Lion completely out of mana. He's going to walk into us and be like, wait, what? Oh, hello there, Lion. Okay, I'll drop a wall for this. That's... 
seconds. Well, a sneaky play for Flea. I, I don't know how intentional that was. I think he was just trying to get out of dodge, but he does live. Yeah, now he's in some serious trouble. The sword catches him. That'll be the Blink Dagger reveal and the end of the Kunkka. Very nice, though they did finish off that Tier 1 tower top. DP rotates in. Ult coming up in one second. Decent damage from the Death Ward, but not going to find any kills. Ched blinks out, and whoa, in comes the Ursa. He's going to drop the Witch Doctor. Pops the Enrage, but now he might get turned around on the Soul Siphon, slowing him down a lot. The right clicks from Slick's adding up, and Evernova will clean it up. It's a fairly even kill exchange, but I think even though it looks like on the teamfight recap the gold's in favor of Lucini, Evernova did get the Tier 1 up top. They defended their Tier 1 mid. Two Blink Daggers up, one on the Ursa, one on the Slardar. And it looks oh, like they scan. do want to defend. The scan reveals the full smoke. Evernova yeah, know exactly sick. what's going on. Well, they have a good idea at least. Pretty sick scan. Slicks breaks the smoke. He's going to initiate in onto the lion. Rage is there. He won't get stunned up. The sword with a stun on two. Follow up from Ched. Gets a kill on the Death Prophet, but the return from Evernova is just too much. Vac wall, boat from across the side, and now the coconut bouncing like mad. A quick one for three. X back will make it a one for four, and they could still get the bounty hunter. He's uh, dusted up, going to try to TP out. Do they have any interrupt? They do not. The cask not going to make it in time. Still, a convincing team fight for Evernova. Their poor DP got obliterated, but pretty positive net worth gain there, and they will, of course, get this tier two tower as a prize. Yeah, and the DP, it's not going to be too long of a... ...that he was laying right clicks in, so Lion did absolutely nothing. Mid lane, we'll see Ursa initiated on. X right into boat. Rage on the life stealer now stun. He's still enraged up. It'll expire. Vac back, but a great stun from the sword. Now the ult from Witch Doctor kind of pushes him back. DP from around the backside. They'll make an Ursa sandwich and turn him into a bear hide rug. Nowhere for him to go and no buyback. The Ursa's down, and Evernova looking like they want to go high ground here. Ult on DP is available. And they've got a creep wave inbound. Quap is the big one. Being so under farmed is just bottlenecking them. They need someone to do big damage. And she does have her level 2 ult, but still actually pretty close to the Agnums. Has more gold in the bank than I thought, but it's too little too late. Ursa gets initiated on, doing huge damage. Boat comes flying through. Actually hits him. That'll be the end of the Ursa. Lucini do get the finger of death off, but it goes on flea. He just guardian grieves through it. Now the exorcism comes. The sword nowhere to go. Locks himself in the trees. He'll fall. And that's it. Lucini have had enough. 21 minutes in, they'll get clobbered, drop some of their items, as few as they can before they die. Uh, Chet will suicide forward, and they will tap out. 25 to 8, game number 2, Evernova. Kind of clowning on Lucini a little bit, can't lie. Um, 